Over the years, I've had the opportunity to wear many hats and meet lots of people along the way. I've always been inspired by their unique stories. I'm Terry Bradshaw. Join me as we meet the people, view the places, and experience the values and ideas that define our world today, right here on Profile. New oil and gas fines used to be plentiful and easy to tap, with crude oil often gushing to the surface under its own pressure. The number of new fines has been declining since the 1950s, and most of them require a lot more resources in order to draw the oil to the surface. In fact, the nature of the oil and gas industry has changed dramatically. Extensive scientific study of the local geology, well in advance of drilling, is now considered to be vital to finding economic reserves. Calgary-based consultant firm Canadian Discovery offers the technical expertise needed for the exploitation of unconventional oil and gas resources which require specialized techniques such as horizontal drilling and multi-stage fracking. We've been in business for 25 years, with 55 plus employees, over half of which are geoscientists, we're one of the largest groups of our kind in North America. Our main business arms include exploration activity analyses, multi-client studies, consulting, and now well completions and fracture data that crosses us into the engineering realm. The company provides the industry with the research and information it needs by publishing professional journals that cover the UK, Norway, and Western Canada. Coming out of grad school, I saw a unique opportunity for consulting in petroleum hydrogeology. We aimed these skills at unconventional resources in the early 90s. To stay on top of the 15 to 20,000 wells drilled in Canada every year and keep us focused on emerging plays, our analysts published the Discovery Digest and exploration overview maps. The company also developed software and databases for use in petroleum exploration and development. Canadian Discovery's expertise and specialized software analyzes the fluid dynamic, chemical, mechanical, and rock properties that indicate favorable areas for exploration. Other software can track and analyze exploration trends. Recent technical developments have really done two things. They've added a lot more volumes of oil and gas that can now be recovered, and they've reduced the cost of those volumes of oil and gas so that we have lower costs and much volumes and a longer reserve life outlook than we had before. We might have had in North America a decade's worth of supply known a decade ago, and now we have maybe five decades to ten decades of supply of gas, for example. The company has conducted over 500 studies in 19 resource-rich basins worldwide. These 6- to 12-month studies provide an in-depth analysis of each reservoir, define the detailed stratigraphy found in each case, and analyze the petroleum hydrodynamics and hydrocarbon resource potential. Here in the lab, we have the opportunity and ability to take reservoir core samples and fluid samples stress them back to reservoir temperature and pressure conditions, and evaluate how different types of new technologies perform. This would include things like uh, multi-stage fracturing for shale gas exploitation, coal bed methane, steam-assisted gravity drainage for heavy oil projects, and a variety of other types of enhanced oil recovery methods. Canadian Discovery is also deeply involved in working with the public and private sector-owned water management solutions. Two industry government initiatives in which the company is taking part are searching for deep-lying saline aquifers that could offer unrestricted water use for oil and gas activity, and then these same aquifers could be used for disposal of the fluids that result from drilling operations. The future of the energy industry is unconventional resources. As the industry keeps refining its technology, the massive investments in unlocking resource plays will surely help provide North Americans energy security. And Canadian Discovery will be helping to lead the way.